hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're having an amazing day so in this video i'm going to be showing you how i relax and style my hair at home if you like what you see make sure you watch the video till the very end if you're here for the first time hit that subscribe button and let's get into it so i'm going to be relaxing my hair using the organics olive oil relaxer <laughs> what was that face <laughs> So in this relaxer pack, there's cream relaxer activator, neutralizing shampoo, hair mayonnaise and olive oil and then a um, set of instructions with rubber gloves. Alright, so I'm just going to take my hair out of this bun. Then I'm going to be using natural shea butter as a base um, around my scalp just so that my hair doesn't get burnt or like no other part of my body gets spawns like my ear and back of my neck and all that so this is a trick i learned from a hairstylist so basically if you don't want your hair to burn or if you just washed your hair or your hair isn't dirty enough and just pour powder on your hair it works like magic you guys you need to try it out so if you mistakenly wash your hair or if you need to wash your hair and you also need to relax it, just put powder all over it and there will be no bones, I promise you. <laughs> don't forget to also put powder on your edges because you know you don't want that to burn and be like crusty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be mixing the cream relaxer with the um, activator. So we can have like a smooth finished relaxer. So you have to stir it up until it looks kind of like this. Yeah, until it looks like yogurt basically. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to wear the gloves right now. And what the gloves do is that it protects your hands from the chemicals and the relaxer so now i'm just going to be patting my hair all the way down no all the way down to the middle actually I'm, i pat my hair into three while i want to relax it but you can pat it into four or however you like to do it this is just like what i prefer so i'm going to be making a pattern with my finger and i'm going to be applying relaxer onto that section of the hair that i just patted out and i'm going to do that for the this whole entire section of my hair Right, and I'm just going to massage the relaxer into my hair for about 30 seconds just so it gets in then I'm going to tie it up in a knot. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other half of my hair, this section right here. I started using my hands because like the using the um, wooden thing was way too stressful so I just started using my hands so it will be faster then I'm just going to massage the two sections together for about 15 seconds or so and the reason why I massage it instead of using a comb is because when I comb through my hair the tooth of the comb scratches my scalp and then that makes my hair burn so I just don't do that anymore I did the exact same thing for the back section of my hair as well so I'm just going to massage and massage the hair for a while and leave it up in a I don't know what it's called because it's not a bun it's like a knot and I didn't finish the relaxer so I'm just going to leave it for um, 10 minutes and I'm going to get back to <laughs> I'm going to get back to it after 10 minutes three two one Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so I'm going to be using my olive oil replenishing conditioner and my olive oil um, aloe vera shampoo. All right, so we're back. <laughs> so I'm going to be using the um, hair mayonnaise from Organics on <laughs> on my hair as like a treatment. So I'm just going to part my hair into sections, and then I'm going to be rubbing the hair mayonnaise all over the base of my hair which is my scalp <laughs> so what this hair mayonnaise does basically strengthens your hair and if any part of your hair happens to get burnt this helps to like ease out the pain a bit and make sure that your hair doesn't stick together you know when your hair burns and then parts of it stick together yeah So 
So I'm just going to massage the hair mayonnaise into my hair and apply some of my edges because you know these edges are important man, they are. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to be using Nature's Gentle Touch Monoi Oil. It's like a leave-in conditioner. And I'm just going to be using that all over the base of my hair as well. And I've never used this before, but you guys, this is such a beautiful product. It smells so nice. I can't remember the girl's name, but there was a woman in ShopRed that um, recommended it to me while I was buying my relaxer. And she was like, you know what, you need to try it. It's really good for the hair. Nobody has ever complained. So yeah, I tried it out. And you guys, it is amazing. Really, really amazing. So I'm just going to be using that all over the <laughs> all over the base of my hair. Why do I keep saying base of my hair? All over my scalp and the base of my hair actually. <laughs> so I'm just going to massage that into my scalp. So for those of you that don't know, I haven't made my hair like fixed or braided my hair in well, I don't know how many months. It was since the 25th of October. That was the last time I made my hair and yeah my hair i have noticed a difference it's like really it's getting fuller it's not breaking as much anymore which is such a good thing so i'm just going to get my makeup done while i wait for my hair to dry because like i'm trying not to use heat on my hair at all because it just causes breakage and all that so yeah and i've really been into like protective styling wearing wigs and just not doing anything to really stress my hair so now I'm going to be combing it through just to make sure that it is completely dried. And now I'm going to be packing my hair in a ponytail. In an updo ponytail. Yeah. Look how so pretty you guys. <laughs> ah. So I'm going to be using the monoid oil once again, the leave-in conditioner from Nature's Gentle Touch, just to make sure I don't have any loose ends. Instead of using gel or like um, edge control, I just decided to use the monoid oil. I tried to do like edges, baby hairs, but they didn't look nice on me, so I just decided not to. So I'm going to undo my bun and we do it so it's to be like super slick okay all right so i'm going to be using this hair it's from lydia hair on aliexpress i'm going to leave a link in the description box down below so you guys can check it out it was literally like 2000 naira and it's so nice and it's long it's about 22 inches long and it gave me free lashes i was so excited about that <laughs> super soft and super nice like it's so hard to believe that it's synthetic and it doesn't smell bad at all it's crazy i just kept on touching me hair because i couldn't get over it <laughs> so it comes with two hair clips that you could use to secure the ponytail and um, a drawstring so i'm just going to put that one clip in front of my hair to secure that right there then the second one right behind then I'm going to pull the drawstring. Then I'm going to take a section of the hair from behind and then wrap it around the base of the ponytail just to make it look more realistic. <laughs> My hands are tired. <laughs> And just tuck that under yeah so i don't like using pins for my ponytails i don't know why i just don't enjoy using pins i think they make it super, super tight so i just try to secure it without a pin just going to brush that out yeah i love this look this hair everything about it <laughs> yeah so we're done with this video i hope you guys enjoy it if you do don't forget to leave me a like and a comment and i will see you guys in my next video